Welcome back painting friends. Today we're going to paint a dragonfly. Colors you're going to need are yellow, pink, two different blues, a dark and a light blue, purple, white, and black. I always have my favorite four brushes, my one inch flat brush, my 10, six, and one round brush. Don't forget to have a cup of water and a rag for keeping those brushes clean. And remember, if you like what you're seeing here, join our uh, painting family on Facebook. It's Painting with a Purpose on Facebook. And like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, Painting with Purpose, so you're kept up to date on all of the tutorials. So let's get started. I'm gonna start with my number 10 round brush and some white paint. I'm gonna make a small circle up here which is gonna be where my moon, might be a sun for you, is gonna go. Directly around that, I'm gonna grab some yellow paint and I'm gonna make a slightly larger circle. Without even wiping my brush off, I'm gonna grab some pink. Make one more. From there, I can wipe my brush off. I'm gonna grab a little bit more pink paint and I'm gonna make some pink lines that go around this. I'm then gonna grab a little bit of pink paint and pull some of those pink lines in right here on the yellow. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the yellow into the pink. So a little bit of yellow into that pink area as well. I'm then going to go in with my one inch flat brush and my light blue paint. And essentially I'm going to make a line it's just below my center here. And I'm gonna paint everything up here, this light blue color. Now I will switch back to my number 10 round brush because I'm going to kind of mix some of that pink into that blue right here along this edge. So I put those little lines of pink there. So I can take a little bit of that blue and I can pull it into that pink and I want just a little bit of blue. Don't get too aggressive with it, okay? Plus if that blue hits any of that yellow, you're gonna get a green color. And then I'm gonna wipe that brush off real good. And I'm gonna pull some of that pink out into that blue. Now I'm okay if these two colors mix, they're gonna make a really great purple that will help kind of blend our sun in with our sky. Now here's the fun part. I'm gonna take a little bit of white and go around this. It's okay if it gets kind of chunky because we're gonna blend it in in a second. And then with my number, or sorry, with my one inch flat brush, I'm gonna take that brush and I'm gonna make small little brush strokes that kind of follow that curve. Okay, so I don't wanna see those big white chunks and I also don't like how there's, they're all the same, so I'll kind of go in and kind of mix them up. But I'm gonna make some brush strokes that go all the way around this that really kind of help that illumination of the sun. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna take my dark blue paint and I'm gonna paint a line of dark blue right here. This is gonna be the water where my dragonfly is flying over. I did not even wash my brush off because I'm gonna make a little bit of that dark blue and then I'm gonna go right back in with that light blue. I'm even gonna take some white on my dirty brush. And over here, I'm gonna add some white. 
and then I will blend those colors together. Awesome. Wash that brush off, dry that brush off. We're gonna let this dry. When we come back, we will add in the rest of our details. With a dry background, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my land. So um, I'm gonna add just a small little black wiggly line down here for the shore of my water. And then up here, I'm gonna do the same thing. Just kind of add some black line to show you where the ground is gonna be. Let's go ahead and paint those all in black. Now from there, I'm gonna add some cattails. So I'm gonna, I've got my number 10 round brush and I'm gonna make a couple of lines and you can choose how many you wanna use, okay? Um, so I like to keep things in odd numbers in three. So I'll probably put two over here on this side and then maybe one more taller one on this side. Now on the cattails, there's gonna be some greenery kind of sticking up from the bottom. So all I'm doing is taking my brush and kind of flicking it up so that it gets skinnier up at the top. And then atop my cattails, it's just gonna be a rounded, oh look, I got some white on that. Hang on, let me wipe that off. It's just gonna be almost like a hot dog on the end. Okay, you're just gonna make a small little loop on both sides. Go ahead and wash that brush off real good. I'm gonna go in with my number six round brush with a little bit of watered down yellow, pink, and white paint. And I'm gonna make just a couple of little lines in my water. They're gonna mimic the colors of my... See, I'm trying to decide if it's a sun or a moon. I really think I'm gonna go moon. and then white. And your brush stroke lines are gonna be longer down here at the bottom, and they're gonna be kind of shorter when they get back towards your skyline. Well, I've got that white on my brush. I'm gonna go ahead and have a small little highlight, so I'm gonna do a line and a dot. And these are gonna be towards where the sun is. So on this one, I'm gonna to have to do it kind of up at the top and a dot down. This one, same thing. Now you can make as many dragonflies as you want. I'm gonna make one dragonfly right here and it's gonna be nice and big. So I'm gonna zoom you in. I'll show you how to make your dragonfly. And then you could decide if you wanna have one dragonfly or 17 dragonflies. So for my dragonfly, we're gonna keep it pretty simple. You can make your dragonfly any color you want. Um, I'm gonna stick with blues and purples, but I'm gonna start off with my number six round brush with some purple paint. And I'm gonna draw out my dragonfly body and she's gonna be kind of floating off to this way. Okay, so it's just a long skinny line. Now, the top is going to have her little head, okay? And then from there, it's actually gonna kind of go from that thick point of the head and get just a little bit skinnier as you go back towards the base of the body. Now, I am not gonna wash my brush off, but I am gonna grab white paint on my brush that has purple. My dragonfly wings, they're gonna start off by making two 
lines that copycat each other from the body out. Those two lines are gonna kinda come to a point and they are going to swoop back. And grab a little bit more purple and white on my brush. My next ones are gonna come down a little bit and they're gonna start out by making two lines that go back towards the back of the body. From there, these lines are gonna go out. And they are going to reconnect right back up here by this one. I'm going to go over these wing lines just a couple times because I want them to be similar in color but have that purple white look to them. Now as far as the details on the inside we'll do that in just a minute but first we're going to take a little bit of purple and white and mix it in with just a small amount so I'm taking on my palette a little bit of white, a little bit of purple, and even maybe a little bit of that blue. And I have water on it. And the reason I have water on it is that I want these wings to look transparent on the inside. And so I wanna have it be very watery where you can almost kind of see the blue through. So I'm just gonna fill these colors in or fill these wings in with that watered down paint I just made. I'm gonna go back in with that purple and white color. And I'm gonna start by making a long letter Y. So that long letter Y is gonna be in that top wing and it's gonna to connect to the body. From there, I'm gonna make lines that just kind of go down at an angle maybe one that intersects the opposite direction. You can kind of play with your lines on your wings. Down here at the bottom, I'm gonna make two swooped lines. And this is with that white purple mix, not the liquid mix. I'm gonna make a straight line that goes to the edge of the wing And then I'm gonna just make some connecting lines that are copycatting each other. I'm gonna go back over my edge lines just to kind of get rid of any place where these lines touch. Let's add some contrast to this. I hope I don't stress you out too much. I'm gonna grab some black paint and I'm gonna make curved lines going down the body and as they go down, they're gonna get slower. Slower, I meant smaller. I'm gonna add the smallest black line right down here under the wing. I'm 
On the opposite side, I'm gonna take a little bit of pink. I'm gonna make just a small little pink line. With a little bit of purple on the inside, kind of blend the pink and the purple in. So what we have now is we have kind of our shadow area and then we have our highlight, that pink is our highlight. I can even take my brush and I can kind of blend and wipe my brush every time I do it. So blend and wipe to get rid of that black, but that'll make that black less of a straight line and more of a shadow line. I'm gonna go in with black and I'm gonna make these little lines that are gonna be the dissection lines. So this is where each of the little body parts has changed. Now, if you can get a, gift, a smaller brush, you can. Uh, I just really like my number six round brush. But I'm just making little curved lines that go all the way up the body. I think I'm gonna wash my brush off and even add a little bit of yellow to my wings as, as if they're like reflecting that sun. So in a couple of these little creases in my wings where I have the little details. I'm just going to add a small amount of yellow. I don't have to do it to all of them, but just some of them. And then maybe a small amount of yellow. Right, right here at the top of her head. Loving it. I'm going to take two black dots and put one on this side and one on this side. And let's zoom out and see what we have going on. Well, I love how it is looking. Remember, if you want to add a second dragonfly, you can always put it right up here on your cattails and maybe just make two of the wings that it's getting ready to take flight. But I love mine how it is with one dragonfly. Make sure when you're finished that you take a color that's going to show up well on your canvas and you sign your name. Remember that I never get to see what you're painting at home unless you post it to my Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. Be sure you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Painting with a Purpose, so you're kept up to date on all of my latest tutorials. And remember, as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye now.